Jackson Pollock, better known as Action Jackson, was born on January 28, 1912 in Cody, Wyoming. He was attending Manual Arts High School in Los Angeles because of his interest in art. Jackson was pushed by his older brother Charles to move with him to New York to study with painter Thomas Hart Benton at the Art Students League. In 1936, Pollock joined the experimental workshop of the Mexican artist David Alfaro Sequeiros and it made a big impact on his own artwork. Jackson was invited to participate in a group exhibition and that's where he met his wife, Lee Krasner. His work then started to become recognized by Peggy Guggenheim, the owner of the Guggenheim Museum in New York. Pollock was most known for his abstract style of painting. In 1947, he started the drip and splash style. Many people believed he was the one who introduced this style to the art world. To do this, he would set his canvas on the floor or wall and that would allow the paint to drip from the paint can. Instead of using a paintbrush, he would use a knife or a stick to add details. He then started to use an all-over style, which abandoned the idea of dimensions and barriers. With this, he began his figurative pieces of black and white works, which he is most famous for. In 1938, Pollock painted Orange Head, which was exaggerated by intense color and distortion, clearly showing an influence from Picasso. In 1941, he painted the bird. This was a sand-embedded surface, a memory of the practice of Indian sand painting with the symbols of the heraldic eye eagle. In 1942, the painting's stenographic figure seemed to merge the ideas of Picasso and David Securos from his earlier experimental workshop. The painting She-Wolf in 1943 brought about the myth of Romulus and Remus in cave paintings where handprints were used. The painting The Guardians of the Secret in 1943 represents a nearly complete synthesis of Pollock's sources with imaginary rooted in archaic forms. The beautifully painted web of Gothic in 1944 rooted in strong black curves. The painting Shimmery Substance in 1946 glows to the light of midday sun on a thick meadow. The painting Lavender Mist of 1950 shows Pollock's ultimate style in which physical action and emotional expression achieve a balance. In the 1960s, Jackson Pollock was viewed as one of the most important figures in the art world. Throughout his career, he suffered from many personal issues including alcoholism. This caused a divorce with his wife, and later on August 11, 1956, Polk was drunk and crashed his car into a tree less than a mile away from his home, killing him instantly. I enjoy working on a large canvas. I feel more at home, more at ease in a big area. Having the canvas on the floor, I feel nearer, more of a part of the painting. This way I can walk around it, work from all four sides, and be in the painting, similar to the Indian sand fingers of the West. 